Hey everybody, Sandwich Productions here, and today this is a review that has been a long time coming. It has been in the making for almost a year now. So about earlier, la about like, I think it was in the fall of last year, I teased a review for a massive Star Wars collectible, and I never got around to doing it until today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars set 75159 Death Star. So, unfortunately, I do not have the original packaging for the Death Star, but I still have the original manual, and it, which looks close to the packaging. So right up front here we have... So right up front here we have an image, of, a very nice looking image of the Death Star there. So it's set number 75159, and on the box it said it had 4,016 pieces. So you can see there's a whole bunch of cool little battle scenes that you can recreate with the Death Star here. So this and this. Now unfortunately, if I were to, unfortunately, well, when I'm doing a, when I would do a Lego review, which I have never done a Lego review before, but so norm, so the original plan for this review was to go through like all the minifigures that it came with, but I could not put them all back together because I couldn't find all the pieces for every single figure that the set came with. So I'm just gonna, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the manual. And we're going to go through the minifigures here. Yes. So, okay, so all the minifigures are listed in the manual here. Okay, so the minifigures that you get are, you get a Death Star droid, Darth Vader, an Imperial officer, another Death Star droid, two Stormtroopers, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker in a Stormtrooper outfit, Princess Leia, two Death Star Gunners, one Obi-Wan Kenobi minifigure, Emperor Palpatine, another Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi, two Emperor's Royal Guards. Now you get R2-D2, Han Solo in a Stormtrooper outfit, a Imperial Officer, C-3PO, Chewbacca, two Death Star, two Death Star Troopers, and Grand Moff Tarkin. And on, the, and on the back of the manual, which is which is similar to the back of the original packaging, shows you all the stuff that you can do with the Death Star. So that's basically, so that's basically every. So that's basically. So, so that's basically it for the instruction. Let me just move some stuff out of the way here. That's basically it for the manual. And the manual is so large that it had to be spiral bound like a notebook. So, moving right along, here we have the LEGO Star Wars Death Star. So, I have it on this turntable here, which makes it easier to access all of the rooms. So, let us bring out the Death Star. Okay. There we go. So, moving right along, here we have the LEGO Star Wars Death Star. A review that has been a long time coming been about a year a year wait for this review let's just take a closer look at the details here I'm gonna go handheld so we can take a closer look at the details so just got some nice looking details very faithful to the Death Star we see on screen minus all of the exterior paneling One massive, one massive Lego set. I think this is might be the biggest Lego set that I have. Just nice, nice details all around. Yeah. So setting the Death Star off to to the side, we're gonna do some comparisons. So this is gonna be, oh boy, this is gonna be tricky. First comparison I want to do is with another massive collectible that I recently did a review for. We're gonna try and get fit both of these in the shot here and compare in the Death Star with the Marvel Legends Infinity Gauntlet and you can see they are both really massive
Here is the Death Star compared with NPM Megatron. Because he's a massive, he's a massive collectible in his own right. Oops. Okay. Okay. Now these next two comparisons are gonna be tricky. But I'm gonna try and get them done anyway. Okay, so this next comparison is gonna be a comparison between the Death Star and the Death Star and Studio Series Devastator. There we go. And last but not least, a comparison between the Death Star and Finer Wars Devastator. Go. So, this is actually going to be a series, this review is actually going to be set in a series of videos where I'm going to be taking a look at, so this review, so this is going to be the comparison, the sort of taking a look at the details of Death Star, the comparison, and all the accessories that you get with the Death Star. So I'll make this. So first thing you get with the Death Star is a TIE Fighter, and this is Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. You can fit the Darth Vader minifigure inside the cockpit there. And I'll, and to store it inside the Death Star, there's just a crane. There you go. Oops. Put it on there. We go, and that's how that stores inside the Death Star. Another thing you get inside the Death Star is a. Let's see if I can pull this out. A crane assembly here. Yeah, and the crane can just move up and down. It can just bend in all sorts of ways, and the claw can open. Yeah. And, those, and then I think this is the last thing that you get. In the Death, I think this is the last thing you get in the Death Star. I think this is the last thing for the accessories. Is you get a trash monster, and I'll show off what this does in the in another review in the where I continue with the review of the Death Star. So you get lots of cool. Little accessories with that you can that can be used with the Death Star. So that was part one of that was part one of the Lego set Death Star review, and I will see you in the next video where I will be taking you on a tour of the Death Star.